everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Rob and today we're doing some new mods to the F-150 AMS reached out to me they wanted to know if I could do a review install video on the new sample slash prototypes of the 2.7 liter uh, turbo inlets let's check it out the sample 2.7 Now this may or may not be the finished product, but I love it. It has that OEM look, massive. And we'll show you, I'll compare the two, the couplers, the tubes, all the clamps. Let's see what she does. <laughs> Everything should be pretty straightforward. Remove your factory air box. In my case, it's an SB. Should all come out the same. You get all your clamps, your PCV system, your blow valve recirculation tube. And then I believe we can reach the turbo inlets where it mounts to the turbo inside the fender well. So let's get started. <music> simple a bunch of extensions seven millimeter take the clamp off the turbo pop it off its mount and uh, we have a turbo inlet from Ford so the passenger side turbo inlet actually looks really clean this truck has almost 30,000 miles on it but puny small you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. So now that the passenger side is done, it was cake, easy. On this side, we gotta pull these clips out and push these in and this pops off. This is the driver side of the inlet. Super simple. Clips, everything pulls out. You got a mount here. This is for your blow valve, the recirculating. Popped right off. And here's the difference. So, install was a breeze. Everything works just like OEM. Factor mount location, snaps in, snaps in, lock it in place, lock it in place, and we got this guy here, oh, I need the clamp, but he goes right there, just like factory, it couldn't get any better than this. And everyone's like, yeah, more air, bitch, I'm just getting hotter. Yeah, it's got a little more balls to it. So that's it. The install, it could not get any easier. It took about maybe 45 minutes and that's with like not reading directions. It was pretty straightforward. A seven millimeter socket for the factory clamps on the turbo, another eight millimeter for the other clamps. And I think I needed a needle nose pliers to pull a hose clamp off. Other than that, super simple. Um, driver side, the steering shaft was there, so it was a little, I wouldn't even say difficult, but you had to work around that just through the top of the truck. On the passenger side, I just went through the wheel well to tighten everything up. Really simple, straightforward. And everything fits like OEM. Like AMS, hands down, a great job. For our prototypes, I, you wouldn't have to change anything. As far as performance, you can hear the turbos a little bit more. Not much, but you do notice that sound. Uh, the truck, 
I feel like responds better. Um, I wouldn't say it's a huge horsepower gain. Now, this with this mod, yes, it's not going to throw any check engine lights or anything, but it does require a tune for you to feel everything to get the maximum power out of it. This truck is already tuned by Lund. Uh, once I do probably an intercooler, I'll probably go get it retuned and turn it up and I'll probably see more of the benefits with the turbo inlets. But for a factory truck, I don't know if you're going to see much with it, to be honest. But if you're look, if you're like a, a diva and you just want to have the best stuff, AMS is where to go. 45 minutes, some basic hand tools, and you're done. <laughs> Drop in the hammer!